What's up everybody? It is Thursday, day four after Ironman Steelhead. I just wrapped up just under an hour run. We're now on the bike doing a strangely hard bike workout for only a few days after pretty hard half Ironman. It is eight minutes of tempo right into six minutes of 40k effort, right into four minutes of tempo, two minutes rest, done three times. We're gonna try my best on this last one, trying really hard to be consistent. Just, you know, Barb said, she's like, you don't have to crank the top of your power zones every time. Like, I'd rather you just be at the very bottom of the zone um, if you're not feeling good. So I'm really trying hard to just dial back the effort, just sit at the bottom of the zone, and just be okay with maybe not feeling super great because I'm still really tired. One more effort. Wish me luck. So I want to talk a little more about something that I said when I was on the bike. I said something to the extent of, uh, I'm not trying to kill it, I'm not trying to do an amazing job, I'm just trying to get this done. Because I'm not feeling super great, you know, coming off a steel head, a little tired. And so I really wasn't delivering the kind of power on the bike that I would hope for. And so that's really hard, and I think a lot of us triathletes struggle with this mindset of, if I'm not crushing it, then there's a problem. Barb, my coach, has been really helping me understand that just doing the work is really all that's required. Yes, it's great to like have those days where you can crush it. As triathletes, we're naturally really driven and we want to succeed and we see these professional athletes doing these amazing workouts and these Lionel Sanders workouts that are just absolutely superhuman. And these people on social media posting these crazy workouts that they're doing. At least for me, I get the sense of it's like if I'm not on that level, then I'm not good enough. And so like tonight when it's like I can't be on that level, like my body's just not ready for it so soon after a race it's hard for me to come to terms with the fact that it's okay to just do the workout and that's something I think that I can do a lot better at so that's gonna be the goal the goal is not to kill it not to be too hard on myself we're coming off of a big race and we're just gonna try and do the work all right we'll see you tomorrow uh, swim we're doing a swim tomorrow we'll see you in the swim 40 minutes to do an hour and a half swim. I really screwed up the timing. I, I didn't leave myself enough time to do this at all. Today's Saturday. Today is the day that the workouts are gonna go better. It's about 12 o'clock. A good friend of mine is coming over. I'm gonna do some work on her bike. Shouldn't take very long. And then I'm headed out for a three hour-ish bike ride and then a quick run off the bike. So I will see you out on the bike. That three hour ride, the main set is five rounds of 30 minutes each. Inside those 30 minutes, you have 15 minutes of tempo, really just kind of that half Iron Man work. And then we go into 15 minutes with some recovery time and some seated sprints. So that totals two and a half hours of really hard work. All right, let's get after it. What's up guys? Look who's here. It's Todd. My tie is tomorrow and Todd's racing so he's hanging out with us. We're gonna be chasing him around tomorrow. I'm back, I'm back to life after the bike run. I think we're, we're gonna end this uh, Augusta training week here 
because tomorrow's gonna be really busy and tonight's really busy and I'm tired. So thanks for tagging along. Uh, we will see you next week.